Right and Lord Papers is right here in my studios this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And how are you doing? I'm blessed. Ah, great, 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 great. Where have you been? I've been working. Mm. Uh, working on your music? Yeah, my, my songs. Your songs. How, how is it going? Uh, it's been good. It's been great, you know, so far. Mm. Yeah. From, from the beginning to where you are now, no. what would you say uh, has been uh, what has brought you to where we are at the moment? Yeah, it's been a learning process mm -hmm. the whole time, you know. <clears throat> I wasn't experienced in this whole business when I started, but now I know so much. Mm -hmm. understand? I feel like what has led me here has, has been a, a good experience right, right now. Yeah. So that whatever happened from the beginning, you left it, you have picked on the positives, and that is what is taking you on. Definitely, yeah. The, the, the new video is out now, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, on your screens currently at the moment. Um, tell me a bit about it, what we're seeing on, on your screens now. Yeah, speaking on tribalism, mm -hmm. you know, some, uh, it's about a girl who is Ewe and a guy who is Ashanti mm -hmm. who are dating and their parents don't agree to the whole thing just because they are from different tribal backgrounds. Understand? And I feel like this is something that's really going on in the country that we shouldn't judge people based on their tribes. Understand? Because even not just relationships, even job, jobs, when you are, right. you are looking for a job, sometimes if the boss is Ashanti or say a different tribe, and whoever is coming, even even if even if you have uh, good qualifications, they still because you are from you a different not from that uh, tribe, tribe, you might not yeah, get the job. The job. And so you want to use your message to preach against to preach that. against it because mm. I feel like it's backwards thinking. Mm. We have to speak on it. Yeah. Lord Hippes is what kind of person? I'm a cool guy. I'm I'm, I'm a musician. I'm, I'm a creative guy. I just mm. put myself in people's shoes and see what's going on. Uh, in the country, the negatives and the positives, and I speak on it. Yeah. And, and so, for you, um, it is about changing what you find wrong in society. Definitely, definitely. How are people responding to your music? Mm. I feel like people are responding very well mm. uh, now mm. because of the familiar, from the familiar and the love no country before, mm. and this song especially, the Jibodi, because so many people are experiencing this tribalism thing that feel like I'm, I'm, I'm telling their stories for them. So the response is serious. It's massive. And it's getting all the airtime. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's doing really well. Mm. Yeah. So you have three. Uh, you saw one at uh, what, Famille. Um, yeah, this is I, I, mean, I mean, I have so many songs before that. Before I'm, I'm saying ones. that people are actually paying attention. Now. Now. After the family, the love no catch you before, and, uh, and then and this, this one, one especially. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think has resulted in uh, that change? People are now uh, they want to hear more from Lord Papers. Yeah, b before I was stereotyped because of the initial, the first video that I brought out. So, mm. yeah, it was difficult for people to look beyond that and listen to me. But now, I feel like the music is getting to them. Every every time when I drop a new song. I get a couple of people to listen to it who become Lord Pepper fans. Mm. They actually listen to the song. So I think it's, uh, it's the songs, the music. That is attracting more I feel like it's the music. Do, and the do you regret that video? I don't. Like I said, it's been a learning process the whole time, yeah. You have picked from that. Uh, I always, I mean, the, there's negative, but every time negativity is there, there's positivity in there. You need to find where the positive vibe is and learn on it. Yeah. So, so the people, the pe you picked what perhaps the signals from those who watched it and then you used that to move to where you are. Definitely, definitely, yeah. What is the outlook for you? We've seen uh, Jigodi, you're talking about what you intend to do with it. What, where are you going? Yeah, um, I, mean, I feel like a lot of people will take Ghana to the world, you know, globally because this is a topic that people are not speaking on in the country. Like, we shy away from it. Yeah, exactly. They don't openly want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But I speak on those issues, you understand, which are serious issues, relevant issues that we really need to work on. Understand? I feel like right now, the way that people are trying to get to know a uh, lot paper and get to know more about me mm -hmm. and listening to my songs now, I feel like a few years from now, it will be really massive. And how hard are you working towards that? <clears throat> I'm, I'm working. I'm dropping an EP very soon, mm. which is serious. 
for a series, yeah. I'm working towards it. Mm. Yeah. You, 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 in the long run, you think that the, the industry is giving you that kind of support for you be, to be able to achieve what you, you want to do? Yeah, right now, right now, I'm, I'm feeling the love right now. In the beginning, it was difficult because I was stereotyped, like I said. Mm. Uh, they felt like there's no talent, it's just the guy who brought the nude video out. But now, to get <coughs> to people get a, to, uh, to watch him or listen to him. Yeah, but at, now the music is doing all the talking, yeah. Who are those behind your success? Aussie Media, my label. Mm. Yeah, Aussie Media. And your guys are really great. Yeah, I mean, they are. They are uprising is concerned. Definitely, they are. They are, They like to criticize. You know, mm. they like perfection. So if it's not good, it's not coming out. Yeah. So I mean, it must be good before. It must be it good. Will come out. It must be good. Yeah. In terms of the music industry and where it is going, you are trying to hit the global stage, take Ghana to the definitely, top definitely, fair. definitely. What is it that we can do to improve the industry and help you musicians to be able to hit where you want to go? I feel like we should all come together as musicians and uh, push. I don't want to compare, but I mean, Ghanaians as musicians, I feel like we are we are not united enough. You understand? Uh, you see this unity among musicians. Nah, like we're not united enough. Everybody wants to be at the top, and their brother will be down. But I feel like there, there's so much talent in Ghana. When we come together as one and push as one, mm. we go spread everywhere. So the idea is that you <coughs> want people to come together. We should, the yeah, we should, should, come, yeah, we should together. come together and push. Like I mean, the sky is big enough for everyone to be a star. You understand? So I feel like yeah. You, do you hope to get a VGM uh, nominee one day? Definitely. Next year, I'll, I'll submit my songs for you, the nation. You'll surely be yeah, yeah. nominee I haven't year. submitted my songs yet because uh, I want the song to reach them really well first. Before you do the song. Before I do that, yeah. So next year, definitely. So you keep, you keep uh, striking at perfection. Once you think this is exactly, great, then exactly, you do the submission. Exactly, yeah. w w briefly, w what would you say uh, is your reaction to what happened at the last uh, VGM? Yeah, I felt like, um, well, Shatawale said he was going to congratulate him mm. on stage and because of the rivalry, uh, probably he didn't, he didn't receive it well. He coming on stage, or maybe he was coming to attack. I feel like it's misplaced emotions. And it happens, it's music, it's music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many emotions in there. all over, especially musicians, you understand? Okay. So I feel like it's misplaced emotions, too. Yeah. I see, so uh, rivalry, and you were talking about unity. You think it, it should be healthy enough to propel uh, the Ghana's music on, or how should rivalry be, 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 be looked at? Yeah, sometimes it helps, you know, and uh, especially the hip hop and dance world, mm. because uh, it, it pushes the artist to do more, you understand? But you do what works for you. Right. Yeah. In the in the dancehall and hip hop world, like like it's something that it's been a culture from from day one mm. when it started rivalry. Right? But I'm not a dancehall artist. You're not a dancehall yeah, artist. Yeah. Okay, Lord Paper, let me give you the chance to speak directly to your fans, and then mm. we can wrap up the conversation. Yeah, this Lord Paper, the North K guy. My new EP is coming out in July, and. Uh, Jibodi is out, who speaks on tribalism. I think you guys to go on YouTube and check out the video, it's amazing. And also follow me on social media, it's Lord Paper underscore anywhere on Twitter and on Instagram, Lord Paper underscore. Thank you. So, Lord Paper, the Jibodi is out, he's asking you to go check it out. Here's more uh, coming up uh, later. But before we wrap up, uh, happy birthday to Manasseh Starcom of TV3. Uh, we wish you all the best and also to Eva Akusia Esinam Ameko, uh, daughter of Miss and Miss, Mrs. Ameko. Today is also your birthday. Thanks so much for staying there. And uh, Lord Paper is out. I'm also checking out. You have a charge to keep, and that is to serve God and to serve your country. My name is Bright. I was here with Dr. Nanama Ato. Have a fantastic Monday. We're back same time tomorrow morning. Good morning once again.